Hey, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and today we have a preset pass request. Today we're going to be taking a look at the main base from the track Divination by LQ. So this is the original version. And this is my recreation. Now I know it's not exactly the same, but I think the value resides in knowing how to create those movements and also how to create textures for those type of free spaces. But before you get started with the video, if you're new here, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to get access to a preset in the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch. And the first thing we're going to do is to add a wavetable oscillator. We're going to load a complex wavetable. For example, something in the spectral section. Let's try this first one. Let's go down that and then let's copy this oscillator and load a different one let's go to sauce and let's go to a dispersed saw just like that then let's face modulate the first oscillator like that And then let's add a sub by adding an analog oscillator loading a sine wave here. And then let's load a distortion plugin. There you go. Then let's go into the semi and sense function here. And then let's tune the oscillators slightly. Just like that and then if we go into the pitch bend function let's just put this pitch bend range to 24 yeah why not and then if we do something like that and then we just need to modulate the pitch bend let me show you the modulation in the DAW real quick so this is the modulation that it did in the DAW goes to 88, then goes down to 78. Very easy modulation. In reality, the only thing that I did is was trying to stick to the pitch of this one. As you can see, I just did a very similar shape. Okay, so now that we have this, let's just add a bit more texture. Let's load a filter, let's set it on band pass. And then let's put it down. Then let's add a disperser. Let's add some pinch here. Okay, that's nice. Let's add a phase distortion. Sounds nice. Let's add a faturator. Let's mix in this phase modulation. Cool. And then I'm going to add multipass with a preset of OTT that I made a long time ago. This is what it looks like. It's just OTT copy it. We're going to load three of these. And we're going to bring the output of this one down. We're going to mix it all the way up and do the same on the other ones. Okay, so now, there you go. Then we're going to add a slice EQ. And we're gonna bring the frequencies down, boost these. There you go. Just to shape the sound a little bit better than what the OTTs did. We can bring this one a little bit lower. And maybe boost these. There you go. 
Then let's add a 3 vine EQ and let's boost the lows. Nice. Then let's add a chorus to add even more texture into the sound. Awesome. Let's add another 3 vine EQ and let's boost the highs a little bit. And the lows. And that's gonna be it for the sound. We can always change this wavetable. And the amount of phase modulation. As you can see here. So this is it inside of phase plan. Now let's go into some pulse processing. And the first element of pulse processing is just an EQ. And now the important part of the sound is this auto pan right here. But let me just recreate this movement real quick. I'm going to bring an auto pan right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the amount up. We're going to bring the phase down. And so now this auto pan, instead of panning, is modulating the amplitude of the sound. And that is basically the trick behind the sound. Now, before I do this, I just want to let you know that if you want to learn all about sound design and dive deeper into this type of techniques and maybe be able to create your own, you can take our course Sound Design Fundamentals inside of DMB Foundations and we also have a synthesis applied one. So continuing with the tutorial, I'm going to set this into a triangle wave. And then maybe have that automation and then just fade it in in the part of the sound where the riff has it. That's very cool. You can also sync this and maybe offset it. And you can always go back into phase plan and change the rate here. And that is it for this sound. So if you like that, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to a preset in the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.